Look, 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 look. Mr. 300 here, man. We're going to have a good chat, man. We're going to have a nice chat. It's not going to be on no car shit. But we're going to get right into it, man. You got to figure out where your finesse is, man. I didn't figure it out. Every single thing I can think of, man, is a finesse. I've been like the last couple of days, man. I've been sitting really at home thinking about how to make money, man. How to get rich. How to ball out. How to be able to get the whips. How to get the clothes. How to get the money. How to get the houses. All that shit, man. And I've been trying to like go back and forth on like what's the legit way to make money, man. And I didn't realize and I didn't probably stumbled across some shit where I realized all this shit is a finesse, man. Shoes. A finesse. Shoes take like a penny to make overseas like a penny. you probably can get multiple pairs of shoes for a penny like let me just look it up right now hold on i'm gonna look it up right now man this shit is crazy man before i say that man i'm gonna just look it up real quick real quick i'm gonna go to alibaba that's this website where you can get connected to like people overseas or whatever manufacturers and they are legit the ones making all the products everything is a, a, a fucking finesse All these shoes, finesse. Look at these shoes. I don't know if you guys can see my camera broke, but look, six dollars, two dollars, three dollars. All these are shoes. Look, they look like just like the Gucci's. How much were those? Little baby shoes. All these shoes, cheap. Shoes are a finesse, man. And these are just if you just buy one or two, three pairs or whatever, and you paying six dollars for shoes, eight dollars for shoes. They all leather. They still got rubber. But you just buying a couple of pairs, you can get shoes for six dollars, eight dollars, nine dollars. Imagine if you Nike or you Adidas or you you know Reebok or you anything, man, off white Jordans, and you buying shoes for a penny. Just say shoes. You buying for five. Just say you. They, just say Nike is buying shoes at the rate that we buying shoes for overseas. They buying shoes for five dollars. We know that's not the case. We know that's pennies. But just imagine if they buying shoes for five dollars. They sell them to us for hundred and fifty. How? They get the regular ass shoes from overseas. They stick a Nike emblem on the shoes or a Jordan emblem, a Reebok emblem, a Kobe emblem, a LeBron emblem, a whoever emblem, man, whoever popping, they, they putting the name on the shoe. And then they say, oh, it's a limited quantity. Like, it's only so many available. Like, once they're sold, they're sold, they're done. You won't be able to get them. And they sell these motherfuckers for $200, $300. They bought them for $5. Let's just say they bought them for $5. But we know if you Nike and you buying millions and millions and millions of pairs of shoes a year, you're not getting them for the same price that the person who buying one shoe for getting them. You're getting them for a totally different price. So just imagine Nike is buying shoes for $5, $10, and they selling them for $150. That's a finesse. Why? It's the same shoe for $5, but they stick their name on it, and it's a finesse. But that's even, that's like a legit, like a, a respectable finesse. That's like one of those finesses where you kind of like, I just want to get to that point. I just want to be able to get some flipping, you know, 10 exit or whatever. And, and that's all great. The real crazy finesse is, what about like Gucci? Like Louis Vuitton? Like all that real expensive shit. You can rip that motherfucking Nike sticker off for shoes that they were selling for 150. You put a Gucci sticker, a Gucci emblem on them, the same ass five dollar shoes, and now the motherfuckers selling for 2,000. <laughs> that's that's a finesse, bro. That is a finesse. Like I live in a kind of, I would show you, but I got my camera set up. I live in like a kind of a, a nice neighborhood, a nice area, or whatever. It got water, man-made ponds. It got houses. It got trees and all this other shit. This is a finesse, man. This is a finesse. Like you feel like you live in a nice area because you got trees, because you got like nice paved roads, because you got like you know like water. Somebody walking by, so I'm gonna be a little quiet real quick. I don't wanna be I don't wanna give up the sauce. But like look at that, look birds. Boop. 
But yeah, I live in a nice area where there's birds and, and plants and water and all that type of shit around, man. It's a finesse, bro. It's the same. The ground is the same. The earth is the same. Like, why am I paying two times as much as somebody who lived five miles down the road? You can live five miles down the road. I'm paying double what you're paying because I got some trees that somebody put in this motherfucker. Like, somebody brought in trees on a truck and put these motherfuckers in the same ground and... Some, they dug some hole, put some water in there. They, you know, they made sure the street lights are working. They made sure the road is, is evenly paved and they charge double than somebody five miles down the road. The same fucking earth, the same everything. That's a finesse, bro. That's a finesse. The shirt you're wearing right now, whatever shirt you got on your back, whatever shirt you got on right now, that shit probably costs, we're going to say, if the shoes cost $5 to make, we're going to say the shirt costs a dollar to make. We could just say they cost a dollar to make, man. You not even, we not even gonna say that you can get 10 shirts for a penny, which you probably could. We're gonna say the shirt that you wear right now, whatever jacket, whatever shirt, whatever you want, it costs a dollar to make. At the very least, you spent $10 on that shirt. That's 10X, that's 10 times your return. If it's if it got a Nike sticker on it, if it got a Nike emblem or a Reebok or anything like that, that shit probably costs $50. It costs a dollar to make. Same ass shirt if nothing was on it. If they put a Gucci, Louis Vuitton, an off-white, a motherfucking Balenciaga fucking sticker, name, lettering, patch, anything on that shit, that shit selling for $1,000. The same dollar shirt. That shit's made the exact same way, same cotton, same everything. That shit is a finesse, man. That shit is a crazy finesse. Man, you got to figure out what your finesse is, man. Like, honestly, man, I've been living my life and I've been going through navigating, trying to, you know, work hard and, and do right and all that other shit. You still got to do right and work hard or whatever. But, you know, that's, we've been getting finessed. If you can't see where you getting finessed, you probably getting finessed right now. If you go to work every day and they pay you a certain amount for the hours that you work and you making somebody else money, but they only give me you a little piece of it. That's a finesse. <laughs> that's you trading the only thing that we have as people. The only thing they not making more of. They could you can dig up some dirt. You can cut off some water supply. We got plenty of ocean. You can fucking dig up some ocean. We still got more land. There's more land to be made. We can put some cement down that motherfucker. We can do we can do whatever we want. It's way more land available. People say, oh, you're not making more real estate. Yeah, because they don't want to. Dig up the motherfucking beach. The shoreline can go back. We can build some another row of fucking houses if we really wanted to. But time is what these you cannot get your time. You can't be like, oh, I'm rich now. Let me go get, let me go back to be 18. Yeah, that shit ain't happening. But we trading the most valuable thing that we have on this planet that everybody has available on this planet. And we trading that motherfucker for pennies. Just like that motherfucking motherfucker shoes. That shit is crazy. And the company that you work for, if they're able to pay you and you happy and all this other shit, they probably a billion dollar corporation. And you getting pennies off the shit that you probably making them. Pennies. It's a finesse, bro. This shit is a, everything is a finesse, bro. This, this shit is, is wild, man. You got to figure out what you're going to do. And honestly, man, unless you like, a, either you're a consumer or you're a producer. Either you consuming things and you just buying stuff and you just working and spending your money to buy somebody else's shit that they done stuck their name on that is the same shit that you can get yourself or you selling the motherfucker the shit overpriced. That's it. Ain't no equal. Ain't no even boundaries. Ain't no like you 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 give what you give or you you put in what you get back or none of that shit. Because if that's the case, motherfucker, everybody would have zero dollars in their bank account. I don't mean a penny. I don't mean less than a penny. I don't mean a dollar, two dollars. I don't mean an extra hundred dollars, negative five hundred dollars. If everything you put in, you get back, that motherfucker would be even like this, motherfucker. That shit would be even like this. That shit ain't even, bro. That shit is all weird and all that type of shit, man. Niggas just trying to, or people just, sorry, people just trying to navigate, understand how they getting finesse and how to finesse. And I'm not saying scam. Scam is when, like, you try to, like, screw somebody over and they feel bad because, you know, for whatever they get. You know, you scamming credit cards, you scamming shit. That shit is bad. I'm not talking about scamming. I'm talking about finessing. I'm talking about putting money. Right, We're going to talk about YouTube. And this ain't no, this is just a business aspect of it, man. I think it's business. I think it's, it's what everybody needs to do. Let's talk about, not even YouTube. We're going to talk about cars. Let's go into cars. 
You got a Lamborghini that's worth a half a million dollars. Why? Because the doors go up. Why? Because it got a Lamborghini sticker on it. You take the motherfucking doors off or you just leave the doors on. Leave the fucking doors on. You take that Lamborghini sticker off and nobody knows it's a Lamborghini. Just say it's a, a new car that nobody knows what it is. It's just a new car and it has no stickers on it. But it has all the same shit as a Lamborghini. The same body, the same engine, the same wheels, the same tires. It's the same power, same speed, all that type of shit. It's the same exact shit as a, a Lamborghini, but you don't know what the fuck this car is. If you look at it, Lamborghinis are a little ass car, bro. That shit is low. That shit is little. That shit is compact. That motherfucking, the material is cheap. That motherfucking, the engine is regular. It's all that shit is just regular shit that you can see and you can find in a fucking GTR. Is a, in a regular ass car, but it's just regular. Like, what's the difference if you break it down, if we talking about like the anatomy of a body of a person, if you take away skin, muscle, fat, tissue, all that type of shit, and you just have a skeleton of a rich person and a poor person and a tall person, a skinny person, uh, this person from over here in this country, this person from over there in that country, all that shit is going to look the same when you break it down, right? If we take that same concept with cars, if you break down what an engine is, all the inner workings of the metal and how that shit roll and all that type of shit, the plastics, the metal, how it works together, how it fuses, how it's naturally aspirated, all that type of shit, it's the same car tuned with a sticker on it. And instead of buying a car for $10,000, $20,000, because it's tuned and it got a Lamborghini sticker on it or a Ferrari. I fuck with Lamborghinis. I don't want to act like I ain't. But we spending $500,000 for a car that costs $10,000. And the people who selling the car at $10,000, that company is a billionaire. They're a billion dollar corporation because the car didn't cost $10,000 to make. So if they're able to sell the car at $10,000, $50,000, $30,000, them motherfuckers still making a profit. But if we take that same car and we stick a badge on it, a Lamborghini badge on it, and put the doors up, say it's Lamborghini, it's fast, all this other shit, and then say only 5,000 of these motherfuckers are made, that shit is a half a million dollar car. I, I don't know why. Like, I used to always wonder, wake up and wonder, like, why do people care about what you're doing and what you're wearing and all this other type of shit? And it's just because the motherfuckers is getting finessed. Everything is a finesse, bro. Every single thing is a finesse. Tires. Like, the rubber is the same rubber as any other rubber that you see. It might be conditioned differently. It might, like, be treated differently. It might be thicker, softer, smoother, whatever. But the rubber is the same shit. But then you got cheap tires and you got expensive tires. A cheap fucking tire. Like an iPhone. A phone, bro, it's the same shit. Like, if you take iPhone off of an iPhone, if you don't know what the fucking Apple is, it's still a phone, it's an off-brand phone. It's the same shit. You go into the stores, you buy a food, you buy a Rich Crackers, right? Rich Crackers are $4 a bottle, a box, $5 a box, but you can get the off-brand shit, which is $1.99 a box. That $1.99 box, people, the store brand shit, they still making a profit. They still selling it for fucking profit. But it's a quarter or is is one third of what the real brand is selling a shit for. And then the crazy thing is how we get stuck in it, how it all messed up the game, man, how how we get screwed up with it. If you go around and you buying like fake stuff, not real stuff, if you wearing some shit that's not real Gucci, if you wearing some stuff that's not real Nike, if you wearing a playing a game that's not NBA 2K, but it's another basketball game, you go over instead of playing, you know, driving a, a Lamborghini or a Maserati or a Lexus or Camaro, you pull up in a Hyundai. They call that shit fake, and that's a derogatory term. They clown you for wearing fake shit. But then they celebrate the people who spend two thousand dollars on some shit that costs a dollar. That shit is this shit is wild, bro. This shit is this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy, bro. 
Like I, I'm, I know this ain't about the car. I know I'm just talking, man. I don't even know if anybody gonna watch this shit. I don't know, man. I'm just, I was just trying to, like I said, I'm at the house chilling, trying to figure out how to make a whole bunch of money. And it's like you got to be the middleman. It's like unless you like are the producer, you're the artist, you're able to like create something and you can like formulate it and mold it or whatever, and then give it to the people and just sell it. If you're not able to do that, either you're a consumer or you're a finesser. That's it. That's all you can do. And I'm telling you, there's a lot, a lot of people, rich people, who are finessing their way through life with no skills, no talent, no ability to live on their own, no way to produce any new shit. No, what shoes do Foot Locker make, man? What is a Foot Locker store brand shoe? There isn't one. They sell Nikes, Reeboks, Jordans, Pumas, all this other shit because they get the shoes from overseas and they just made a Foot Locker name. Like this is the official place to get all your real shoes and they selling that motherfucker for the Jordans for $200 and they have people sitting up just standing waiting because they gonna sell out. Another people, another lady coming. Let me yeah, I'm still on the, the verge of not being comfortable talking around people. So when somebody walk by, I know you guys can't see it, but I'm sitting like around water. I'll show you at the end of the video. But and there's people walking by, so I don't want to be saying too much weird stuff while somebody talking. But anyway, we're gonna go back. We're gonna keep talking about finessing, man. We're gonna talk about. I just went to this damn in Vegas festival, right? It's a hip hop music festival. I know I'm spitting all over the place, but don't trip. It's a hip hop music festival, right? And I spent four hundred dollars for a three day festival with a whole bunch of different artists, and I spent that four hundred dollars as soon as the motherfucking tickets dropped. As soon as the tickets dropped, I spent four hundred dollars for a three day festival to be on some land where some people are going to be talking on a microphone. I feel crazy now, bro, when I think about it. This shit just clicked just recently. And the crazy thing is, why the reason why I bought these motherfuckers is because a couple of days before the, the, the you know the tickets were released, people were talking about it all over social media, and they're saying these tickets are going to sell out fast. There's only a limited available, you know, limited quantity available or whatever. So as soon as the motherfuckers got available on Friday morning, my dumbass, Mr. 300, I went and spent $400 on some tickets that I didn't even, I wasn't even going to for months. Like, I think I bought these tickets in June, and I just went to the festival November 1st. They was holding my, that's the finesse, bro. They holding my money for four, five months, collecting interest on some shit, and not giving me any of it. They creating some shit as they're holding my money. They don't, might not have had any of that shit finalized. They just had a fucking concept, a just fucking idea, and they were able to get my money months in advance to hold my money, make investments, make mistakes, make choices without me really even knowing about the shit, and then just hopefully they just put on a good fucking concert and I wasn't tripping about it. That shit is fucking wild. And the crazy thing is, this, apparently, the fucking festival sold out in the same same day as felt is sold out, right? A month before the festival came out, they were saying, oh, we got a limited supply of some three-day passes available. A limited amount, a limited supply. A limited supply, right? A couple weeks before the, the fucking festival, they start selling single-day passes to the festival. A sold out festival that sold out on the same day were only a limited, uh, months after that, only a limited amount of tickets or passes were available a month before the festival took place. A couple of weeks before the festival, these motherfuckers start selling single day passes for half of what you would spend on the whole festival if you would have bought that motherfucker four days or four months prior. I spent four hundred dollars for a three-day festival. They were selling one-day passes for two thirty-nine. <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. That shit is wild, man. That shit is a finesse. That is a finesse. I, we just got, fin I just got finessed out of my money, and it happens all the freaking time. Like this phone, this gum, right? This gum. I spent. I don't know how much I spent on this gum. A dollar ninety-nine, dollar fifty-nine, or whatever. I got finessed out of this fucking gun. Why didn't I buy the cheap gun? Because this gun looks better on the pack. It looks better. It has Trident name on it or whatever. And it's just probably, I just, I trust it. 
this shit is a finesse, bro. You got to figure out how to finesse your way to something, bro. Like, I understand how I'm going to finesse my way. Basically, you got to put shit, you got to figure out what you can do well. You got to figure out how to connect the dots. And you got to put that shit in front of people and you just got to hype it up. You just got to finesse your way to the top, bro. Microsoft. That's a finesse. Apple, that is a finesse. You take the Apple off of that computer, that shit is a regular ass computer that anybody can make. It's branded, it might not be branded or whatever, have iTunes and all that shit, but being able to go to the websites, being able to type up music, be able to look up YouTube, be able to look up all that shit, all that shit is the same exact shit if you take that fucking Apple brand or Apple whatever off of that motherfucker software and you just gave somebody a computer. But since they put a fucking Apple, a half, not even a full Apple, they put an Apple that has like a little notch and a fucking branch. Like these motherfuckers didn't even completely like didn't even completely clear out the apple. They didn't even give you a whole apple. They didn't give you the whole apple. They gave you like, uh, you can have this, but we still gonna take a piece of it. They gave you, put that shit on a laptop and that shit is selling for $2,000. And that's the crazy shit, bro. The thing is, and the thing is, we don't even see that shit. Like, until you open your eyes and you see and you understand what's going on, bro, the billion dollar corporations are the cups of the corporations that are just selling this shit for no reason at a price that we don't understand, but we just still buy the shit. Apple is a trillion dollar company. Why? Because they sell shit for expensive prices and people buy that shit. That's the only reason why, bro. Apple, computer, they still break. They motherfucking batteries still go bad. The screen still crack. All this other type of shit. It might not even be the best. It might not even have the fastest processor, software, and all this other shit. They say, oh, it's integrated or it's for dummies and all this other shit. And we eat it up. And I've been eating it up my whole life about different shit. And we've been getting finesse, bro. We've been getting finesse, 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 finesse out of everything. You got to figure out how to finesse your way to your millions, man. I know this is like a weird video. I already know. I, like I said, I wasn't. I don't have any content available right now. You know, like I'm waiting on some pieces and some parts of my car to come in. But I just wanted to talk because I was sitting at home thinking, like, how do how do I get millions? And you just got to figure out how to finesse, how to finesse. Like I was. I, you can. You can. It's so many different things that we can do. If you got a phone, if you got a camera, if you got a car, you can figure out a way to finesse people. You can say you're the best driver in the world, and you'll drive anybody around town for two hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars. You can't drive around twenty thousand people in one day. If you just by yourself, you can only drive around one person. But you can, in somebody's mind, it's gonna spark and say that dude is a good driver. I fuck with him. I'll hire him for five hundred dollars a day, right? And you spend a hundred dollars in gas, not even a hundred dollars. You might spend like forty dollars in gas for the day driving a person around. Not even forty, because that's nonstop driving. I can get from Las Vegas to L.A. for forty dollars. So, and we ain't driving that far in a day. So we talking about if you spend twenty dollars a day on car, you talking about depreciation. You talk about like anything else, anything you want to talk about. We talk about like you know anything. You spend all the money. You spend eighty dollars, maybe. We talking about gas. We talking about wear and tear, depreciation. We talking about the ability to, um, you know, maneuver and stay aware and connected to the road and all this other shit. Your time and all that other shit, man. You spend eighty dollars a day. You got, you spent charge that person. $500. You got a $420 profit for that one day driving around, not doing shit, no skill. Or you can work eight hours a day and do hard physical work. Manual labor. Manual labor. You can get, you giving away your time, you giving away your body, you giving away stress, you giving away your time, all this other shit, and you end up making $100 a day, bro, after taxes. Taxes is a finesse, bro. I, that is a finesse. Like, why... We gonna talk about school. School is a finesse, bro. Everything is a finesse. School is a finesse. Why? You charge twenty thousand dollars a year to go to school. Twenty thousand. I don't know what, what's this dude talking about. This dude coming around. He's trying to I'll pull out the. You know, we gonna talk about it, man. We gonna. It's it's how school is a finesse, right? 
you go to school, you register, you go to the best school you want to go to, whatever, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, wherever you want, UC Berkeley, Stanford, it don't matter. You can go to UNLV, you can go to UC uh, Santa Barbara, you can go to Colgate, you can go anywhere. That shit is going to be over $10,000 a year, $20,000 a year, $50,000 a year, and that's just for undergrad, right? You go to school, you got to go to school, you got to have a college degree to make it in life. You got to have, you know, this requires a college degree or whatever. You go to college, you spend $50,000 a year for somebody to read a book to you. And then they charge you, you can't afford that shit because you're just selling you a dream. So you go to school, you get a whole bunch of student loans to go to school so you can get a job and pay that shit back. And the kicker is you don't, you ain't even guaranteed to get a job. You're not even getting this is a college like a college graduate. I went to college, I got a degree, couple degrees or whatever, and I understand it or whatever. I, like I said, I'm not saying that the education system is something that nobody should or they should just cancel it. No, but I'm just saying being able to automatically believe that once you go to college your life is gonna be great, that's not true. You can have a great life without going to college. College enhances shit because it's the experiences, the ability to work as a group, work with others, understand shit, experiences, broaden your horizons, different, you know, languages, uh, dialects, you know, um, you're basically paying to see somebody else's, um, I'm not sure, uh, it's like their experiences. That's what you're paying for. You're paying, college is paying, you're paying for experiences, right? Because now, especially like with the internet, you can go out and like read a book, you can get a book online, you can go to a website, you can learn everything you want online for free. But people still go to college and spend all this money, all this big money, thousands and thousands. We don't even talk about books. Like the motherfucking books that I remember going in college, I was spending $400 a book for some paper that they printed and put a sticker on. That's a finesse, bro. Because some smart person, whatever. Bro, that's... Sh Once you once you realize what everything is, bro, you understand it's just you got to get money, bro. You got to get money. You got to get rich. You got to get power to be able to like do what you want to do. You want to navigate and do all this shit in a, in a better area. You want to just nav. You just got to navigate and learn how to finesse people. The biggest finesse is school, bro. They charge you thousands of dollars. To learn from someone who learned from a book or some experiences, they force you and allow you to get loans to pay for this, and they promise you a job that is not promised. You just have like better probability of getting a job to be able to pay those loans that you just got off for the next. 25 years of your life how many people you know who went to college and work in their field they just not i'm not talking about advanced you know if you're a lawyer a doctor all that other shit man the advanced degrees but i'm just talking about a regular bachelor how many people you know who got a bachelor in something and they really only job they ever had is, is using their degree not many right how many motherfuckers you know who went to college and got student loans the majority. That shit is. I don't even know. Honestly, man, I don't. If if you go, if that's a finesse, I think I might go a little bit further and say that shit is a scam. Like you're making me pay some shit back that I never had in the first place. You're making me pay for the probability of me getting a good job, but I never even guaranteed to even have the good job. I'm paying. I'm like you're charging me for some for, for fucking hope. That's they charging you for fucking hope. That shit is crazy, bro. 
Like when you, I don't know, man. Like I said, man, I'm, I'm a, a, a advocate of like learning and school and all that shit. But I just see that shit as a fucking scam, bro. Just like the shoes, just like the clothes, just like the cars, just like the houses, just like everything is a finesse, man. You just gotta figure out how to finesse people, bro. And that's not scamming. I don't want you people to think like, oh, you talking about going around scamming people? No, I'm just talking about finesse. I'm talking about packaging some shit, a pack, a, a product that somebody doesn't know how to like effectively price you price it the way you want that would be a profit for you but still beneficial to them because they appreciate it somehow they might not realize it until later on that this shit gonna break it's not gonna be the best it's not gonna last but for that immediate after the immediate purchase time after they bought your product that you packaged up because only you know how to do the shit the way you know how to do it they're satisfied you just gotta figure out something where you can satisfy somebody and make a profit and sell them some other shit of you basically gotta be affiliate an affiliate of everything. Like it's literally people who are middlemen who are billionaires. Like I said, Foot Locker. The motherfuckers don't make shoes. The motherfuckers do not make shoes. Walmart. They don't make every fucking thing in Walmart. Like, Walmart isn't some fucking magical place where anything you make, anything you want in life, we're able to make it. No, they're a fucking marketplace. And they're able to like, oh, yeah, come here and buy this shit at a profit. And the person who made the shit, they'll get a cut. But I'm getting a cut, too. Amazon. Amazon, the same shit. Amazon makes, like, some products, like Amazon Basics or whatever. But they still get that shit from somewhere else. It ain't like they got a fucking Amazon fucking production manufacturing line and they're just like producing products just <clears throat> making shit at will anything you want they're able to make nah motherfucker like if i want to sell this gum on amazon i will go to amazon and i will post this shit on amazon and i will sell it for four dollars Amazon will get a dollar cut from this shit. I'll get three dollars. This shit is worth 50 cents. It took me 50 cents to make. Amazon takes a dollar. I charge myself 50 cents, so I'm in for 150, but I sold it for four dollars. That's a two dollar and 50 cent profit. I'm happy, Amazon is happy, you happy, and that's it. That's a finesse. That's a, that's a finesse. Like all this shit. All this, any, anything you want to think of, I'm pulling this shit up. I'm pulling this shit up. Look, comment, man, there'll be a link in the description down below, man. This is a Black & Decker, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a Black & Decker drill. It's the same fucking drill that it does the same shit that any other drill can do. But since because they put a Black & Decker fucking name on it, they're able to sell it for $80 when this shit probably costs $3 to make. If this didn't have this Black & Decker shit, like if you bought this shit and it was just this, like imagine you got this and this is the only thing they showed you. Like it wasn't even orange, it was just all black, all white. And this motherfucker, would you spend $60 on that shit? You wouldn't, you would not, my camera cut off, man, my bad. But you wouldn't spend $60 on that shit, guaranteed, bro. It's all a finesse, bro. So figure out what your finesse is, man, in life. Go ahead, grab it, go smash it out man knock that shit out the park i'm gonna take this shit out man show you guys what i was talking about as i'm talking but all this shit is a finesse bro like all this shit you live in a nice area like all this shit is a finesse bro oh yeah you live in a nice area you got birds and water and nice ass houses look at these fucking mansions around here bro it's the same ground though the ground is all fucking cracked up these fucking trees wouldn't be here imagine if there was no water imagine if these motherfuckers didn't maintain the grass imagine if like these motherfuckers just let the fucking trees just grow this motherfucker would not be a place where you would spend two three four five ten x the amount that you could spend five miles down the road you wouldn't because all this shit looks like trash bro but since this shit is upkept and it's like you can got boats and nice ass houses. Look at these fucking houses. Trees, palm trees in a desert. This muff, this is a finesse, bro. I live in Las Vegas, bro. Ain't no water here. This is a, a, a fucking palm tree and a lake on both sides of me, bro. On both sides of me, bro. And there's other lakes all over the place. This is a finesse. And they're able to charge. This, the community that I'm in right now, bro, is way more than any community in a 30 mile radius. Why? Because of the shit that they didn't finesse us to believe is really here. Some trees and shit. And some water. That ain't even real water, bro. You can't drink that shit. It ain't natural. God didn't make that shit. Bro, they, they get dug this shit up and it stays here. Ain't no tide. Ain't no fish in there that they don't put in there. This shit is a finesse. And they're able to, oh, yeah, you live in a nice community. I'm charging you triple. 
That shit is a finesse, bro. That shit is wild. That shit is wild, bro. Like, I, it's so many different things that I could tell you about that is a finesse, bro. There's so many, so many, so many, so many, so many things that I can tell you that is of is oh is wild. This was a long, a long video. I already know it was a long video, man. I don't even know what I'm really talking about. I just wanted to get it out, man. Find your finesse, figure out a way to, to make a profit. Like, please, man. That's the only way you're gonna do it. Unless you got unless you're a producer and you're able to like really produce some shit, some dope, valuable shit. Like, if you gotta figure out a way to finesse people and earn worth. You gotta be able to earn work. I figured out my way. And the thing is, on this channel, if you made it this far, man, please sure uh, to subscribe, comment, share, like, all that shit, man. Cause my next videos, man, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finesse everything. And I'm not scamming, I'm not doing nothing like that, man. I'm just gonna put value on some shit that I created and I'm gonna sell it to the world at a profit and we're both gonna be happy because it's some shit that I created and they couldn't. That's it, man. That's it. I'm gonna finesse my way to the top. I'm not y'all. I'm not gonna finesse y'all to the. I'm not gonna finesse y'all. Well, some of y'all, cause I might meet some of y'all. I don't know. But it's not a, a plan to be like, oh, I'm gonna take some money and rob them and scam. No, I'm gonna finesse. I'm gonna put value on some shit that is not really valuable and sell it, and people are gonna be happy on both sides. Like this is the main shit, bro. It's it's all a, it's all a, all 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 a finesse. A finesse, a finesse. I know I said finesse a whole lot of times during this video, but it's it's becoming one of my favorite words, man. So you just, I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's weird, bro. It's weird when you realize what's really going on. Like Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a finesse. It's a finesse. Back in the day, I remember like two thousand and six seven four five seven like that bitcoin was like 10 cents a bitcoin and people used to like buy bitcoin to like buy shit on like the dark web and like do weird shit with and then you know just untraceable do illegal shit with it right that's what it was used for they finesse people to believe that this fucking bitcoin is worth now twenty thousand dollars of real money there is no word show me a bitcoin <laughs> Show me a Bitcoin, bro. Turn your computer off and you got a million Bitcoins. If you turn the computer off, there ain't no electricity. You have zero. You you bought some motherfucking... You bought... You you know, like, when you play, um like, like all these video games and you'd be, like, a DLC or whatever, or, like, you buy, like, you know, in the Clash of Clans or NBA 2K or Madden and all this other shit, and you buy, like, Gatorade packs... <laughs> you know you buy like attributes updates or vc points or you know like money online or like what's some shit like on the division you want to buy like the dopest weapons you buying that shit like bitcoin you got a whole bunch of money in bitcoin bro you buying some guns online on some video game shit you really ain't got that money you turn that fucking computer off you broke bro that's that's a finesse, bro. That's a fucking finesse. That's a fucking finesse. That's a fucking finesse, bro. And we ate it up. And now that shit worth 20000 All these motherfuckers who do all the weird shit online. I remember back in the day, bro. They was doing... I'm not going to get into it now because I don't want to really get into that. But they were doing weird shit on the dark web. Like, I remember going on that shit back in the day. Weird shit on the dark web. I'm talking about... If that shit is true, that shit is horrible. The motherfuckers was spending Bitcoin, like getting collecting millions of Bitcoin because it's only a 10 cents here, or a dollar here, or a penny here. Millions of Bitcoins. These motherfuckers got hundreds and thousands of Bitcoins now. Now the Bitcoin, they didn't finesse the, the world to be able to believe that some shit that ain't even real, some shit that ain't even, you, it's not tangible, it's not even available for you to locate, is now worth 20,000 of real dollars. Now these the, the weird people, the the, the, the crazy shit, the, the shit that you know, the, the stuff that don't even really make any sense. Now they have valuable, they have valuable assets, they have power, they have money, they have resources, they have the ability to do anything you can do with money because they created Bitcoin, bought a whole bunch of Bitcoin, and now that shit the nest is way to the top. One Bitcoin now is worth more than one dollar. One Bitcoin now is worth more than one thousand dollars of real shit some fake shit bro bro 
Mr. 300, I hope you guys are having a great day, man. Love you guys for watching this video, man. Comment down below, subscribe down below, man. Figure out your finesse, bro. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride, bro. It ain't just. I know this is a weird video. It's not you no know, car content. I'll show you the car real quick. You know what I mean? I'm in the 300. Blah blah blah. S. Blah blah blah. Roof. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I'll show you all that shit, man. But I just wanted to talk about some real stuff today. And this shit is all a finesse, bro. And I know it's a long video, but figure out what your finesse is. Don't scam, but finesse. Put some value on some shit that you can create or be the middleman. Be the person who connect the dots. Either way, man, that's how you get your way to the top. That's the way you get to the millions. That's the way you get to the money. That's the way you get to the freedom. That's the way a laptop lifestyle. Everybody in this world now, they want a laptop lifestyle. So what do people do? Niggas are creating or people are creating courses off some knowledge and they're selling it for a thousand dollars. Or they'll say, I'm gonna talk to you for a weekend. Come buy this ticket, it's ten thousand dollars. A la fucking Grant Cardone or Tony Robbins, or I'm gonna write a book once and I'm gonna sell it a million times for fifty dollars. That's a fun. All right, man. Mr. 300, subscribe down below, comment down below. More videos to come. I'm showing you guys everything on how to finesse your way to millions. I'm showing it. Ain't nobody on YouTube showing this shit. Everybody talking about it. Everybody showing merch. Everybody talking. Everybody doing that, showing all that. I'm, sh I'm going to show you guys how to finesse your way to the top, man. And I'm going to show you guys in detailed steps. And if y'all fuck with me, man, y'all going to follow along and probably try to emulate everything I'm doing. And we're going to get together. We're going to hang out. And when you come to Vegas, you're going to fuck with me. When I go to L.A., I'm going to fuck with you. We're going to meet up and all the other shit. And we're going to laugh about stuff. And we're going to be like, damn, we finessed our way to millions. Anyway, man, Mr. 300, man, love you guys. Peace out.